Okay, so this uh, screen capture is for Mary Lou, and she's been having trouble with her little um, earth eater, I think she called it. So we're going to um, go to Auto Punch, and I'm going to pull up Mary Lou's design, which I've saved to my desktop. There it is. And I just saved it as a JPEG. Um, I don't know too much about the original design. So with that in mind, we can't make it too large, but Mary Lou is interested in four inches, so we'll give it a go. Um, so I've selected the image. I'll click Next, and it's cropped pretty close to the edge, which is good. And um, it's showing that the size of this design is six inches, so we're going to reduce it to four because that's what Mary Lou wants hers to be. I think originally when I did it for her, I, I believe I set it at three. But um, we'll see how this one turns out. And I'll click Next. And uh, we'll see what Auto Punch suggests. Two colors, which is good. All right, and um, I'm going to take my slider bar all the way down. Um, <clears throat> not going to use any uh, satin stitches in this one. It'll be all fill. So I'll click Next. And uh, we have the option to fill in the center. I can't remember if she said she wanted the center or not. I remember she said it needed to be something like a globe. But I'm going to say do not stitch um, the center. Um, and I took it out by unchecking stitch blocks that have the same color as the background because the center is white, the background is white, and that way just um, this Earth Eater design will stitch out. Alright, so we'll click Next. And we want to choose a woven, light woven fabric. I know there's been some discussion about people seeing uh, something a little different. Um, in the settings, when I choose preset fabrics, I have the same categories as other people have seen garments, gifts and crafts, housewares, letters, and special. Okay, but mine is just expanded a bit. Alright, but back to Mary Lou's design. Um, I'm going to click on it and I want it to be a fill. All right. And um, I'm going to give it a fill underlay rather than an edge walk underlay. And I think that's good. We'll click next. And we want to have a jump stitch, but between the blocks, and there probably won't be any blocks, but there you go. All right. So let's enlarge it just a bit and take a look at it. <clears throat> I want to click on realistic view first and just have a look at it. Um, the edges look sharp and um, there's nothing much that I would change here. Um, it's possible to do a narrow outline, Mary Lou, if you want to do something like that. Um, I'm not sure at this point what else you'd want to do to this design, but if you wanted to do an outline and you have editor, you can click on your editing and design and settings, and you can go back and shoot and check here where it says satin outline. And I wouldn't do more than maybe um, 10. We'll just apply that and have a look at it. That'll give us sort of a narrow outline. If we don't like it, we can always take it off. Alright, so that's how it looks with the outline. It gives it just a little bit of a crisper edge. If you wanted to change um, the way the fill looks, then you could go click on your editing tools and click design. And we could go back up here and change the stitch type. Let me move this box over a little bit. So you can see it's chosen a step satin, but we might want to choose a step pattern or a step angle would be nice. That's one of my favorites. And I generally go to a 75 or something like that. If you want it to be straight up and down, you could um, choose 90. And um, let's take a look at that. That looks pretty nice. Nice and clean. 
Uh, if you wanted to change it to some other step, you might want to do um, perhaps this one, which looks nice also. All right, so that's how you do it, Mary Lou. Um, I hope this helps, and uh, give it a go.